<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Buggy the Goat. How are you guys? Today we are gonna talk about meta. Talking meta is the new series that I'm doing. There you go, guys already know if you follow me. If you don't, leave the subscribe, leave the bell on. Let's do it. Let's get 500 subs. We are giving away uh, three full account reviews when we re reach 500 subs, all right? So, Talking Meta Turtle is this video, as you guys can see in the thumbnail or in the video name. All right, let's start. So, what is the turtle? <clears throat> we will take this example. Don't mind my uh, artistic side. Because I suck at making draws. But this is a turtle, as you guys can see, alright? So, let's open it. Uh, so, this is this is the head, right? So, this is going to be a tank. His shell is going to be the support. And his legs, which are just two legs, are going to be the DPSs, alright? So, what's the purpose of a turtle? How does turtle work? Uh, I'm going to explain everything to you guys in this video. So... Uh, on the aspect of turtle, you want every single member of your team to have some supportive action on uh, on the synergy of your whole team, of course, or doing some debuffs, something like that. So, I'm going to explain. So, your tank, you only have one tank, of course. You will be the one in front tanking for uh, your whole team, obviously, and will have some kind of supportive action towards the other members so for example let's say kuma jimbe bege so they all have uh supportive um actions towards the other members so kuma is gonna protect two allies with his first skill jimbe is gonna protect two allies as well at 10 stars uh on his passive of course which is gonna protect them uh, Bege is just going to protect himself and one uh, more crew in the Castle Guardian, as you guys can see. So he's going to protect the uh, the highest attack ally that you have. He's going to share damage. Uh, other other aspects of Turtle should be Kizuru is going to have a, a shield for everyone, so he's mitigating damage as well when somebody from your crew crits. Also, Kaido. So, Kaido will, at start of each round, balance the HP of everyone. So, that's a huge, huge, huge supportive action towards your team. So, talk, talk, um, I already talked about the job of your tank in the team. So, he must be really tanky and he also must have some supportive action towards everyone. Just like the ones that I showed. On the shell... So, the supports. And why shell? Because they will harden the shell. The, the, it's, the, it's the ones that will make it uh, almost impossible to penetrate and go through your defenses, alright? So, the shell will not be too hard, but when the supports get in action, it will be. And I will explain. So, your supports must have mitigation, um, mitigation skills as well, just like Shiroshi will have. But she's not out yet, but she will definitely be in turtle because she mitigates a lot of damage. But some more examples of supports that can mitigate. So Law, also good in turtle. He slips somebody in the first skill, gives attack percent, gives block shield. He gives uh, HP per turn if the if it overheals on the total amount of your crews. So let's say your crew has 99% HP and Law is going to heal. So... As you can see, Heal Shield. Heal Shield absorbs overflow heal amount of caster's current skill for two rounds. So, he's gonna overheal, alright? And make that overhealing in a shield. So, he's very good mitigation as a support as well. Uh, Perona only kind of mitigation, if you can talk like that, is gonna be the revive. So, not too good to be fair. Robin. Robin is going to be a uh, good mitigation as well. She's going to increase defense. She's going to increase crit resistance. Uh, and she's also going to give crit damage. Which is not part of mitigation. But also a plus. And she's going to heal. Sorry. And she's going to heal with blood losses. Delayed damages. Poisons. All of that chance. 
Uh, and on, on the third skill, obviously, she will be doing... Um, she will be doing blood loss and it's gonna receive all of them will receive that are affected uh 30 percent plus damage all right so this is very 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 important so you're not only mitigating damage from yourself but you're amplifying the damage that everyone will take all right and it's 30 percent nothing to be shabby about on the champ side, we will have uh, Otohime, Queen of Turtle, just like Chiroshi and Tsuru and Sengoku. But we'll explain. So on the first skill, she can heal up to three times. Uh, it's going to be an active skill, of course, but it's also going to proc when she gets hit. So when she gets hit, like when she's attacked, it has a 30% chance at 10 stars to cast Resonate Speech. And Resonate Speech is going to be her first skill. So... Even if you already casted it, if you're being hit, you're being attacked, you can cast it again and again and again, up to th three times a turn, alright? Uh, she has mind communication, which is going to increase defense, and it's going to increase healing effect on all your team. And it's going to stack up to 10, so you're going to have 30% uh, more defenses when it's full stacked. And you're gonna heal 30% more as well, alright? On this one, she's gonna give Resolute to all of your team, alright? Uh, which is gonna be when they are gonna die, they will be revived at 1 HP, alright? If, um, if someone is dead, she will heal, okay? At least one ally. She, uh, she will revive, sorry. If, if anyone is dead, she will revive instead of giving Resolute. But if nobody is dead, she's going to heal everyone and give Resolute to everyone. So if they die, they are going to be revived at 1 HP. AoE. And the passive we already talked about. Boa is also going to be a good support. So she's going to increase defense. She's going to increase um, the damage of your champ crews. If you have some champs in your team, of course. If not, it's going to grant still the shepherd to the highest attack unit. And what is shepherd? So when a shepherd unit gets hit below 40% HP, it's going to uh, increase the HP up to 80%. So it's going to heal 40% more. Well, let's say it's it goes below 40% to 30%, then it's giving 40% more, it's going to go to 70%. But if you see, unit with Shepherd Effect heals by 40% HP when HP is below 40%. Alright? So, it has a second effect as well. So, it's going to revive by uh, with 25% HP if you are killed. Okay? So, Shepard will disappear after either of the effects is triggered, alright? It's gonna last two rounds, and it's gonna be undispellable as well. On the, on the third skill, she's gonna heal everybody, she's gonna heal damage, and she's gonna put Mero Mero Mark in the targets, which is gonna um, put uh, a damage reduced down by 6%, resistance down as well, and when they are attacked, they will receive extra 7% damage of boa total attack as true damage, okay? It's gonna be true damage. Of course, in here, she's gonna apply metal metal when she's countering, and she will have like 100% chance to counterattack if they are slower than her, alright? If they Or if she's higher speed, same thing. And she's gonna reapply a metal metal mark for two rounds, okay? Let me see what else is in the nothing. You you don't want Moria Moria has nothing uh, of mitigation. Tsuru and Sengoku are um, very good. The best uh, turtle supports together with Shiraoshi and Otohimi, okay? So Tsuru. And the first skill is gonna reduce 15% of damage. It's gonna increase. 25% uh, of healing is going to give crit rate 20% as well. In the third skill, she's going to heal every uh, a single person for a high amount or revive. So, she's very, very good because she has mitigation in the first skill. And the first skill is really low cooldown. It's just going to have two turn cooldowns, right? So, you're going to cast it on first turn and you're going to cast it on third turn. Uh, and you're gonna cast on 5th turn, and so on, so on, so on. Single cool. 
So Sengoku is gonna buff attack to your team and it's gonna increase crit rate by 10%. If they are fighters, it's gonna increase by 20%. So make sure you notice that before using Sengoku. He's very good with fighters and just good with non-fighters. But this is why you want Sengoku. So it's gonna increase all, all damage um, from magic damage, of course, by 15%. Uh, it is granting soul ward to every team. So what soul ward do is let's say my tank is getting hit by 100k But since I have everyone uh, uh, alive, it's gonna divide though that 100k by 5 and everyone is gonna take the same amount of damage Which is gonna be 20k, right? It's gonna be 20,000. 100,000 divided by 5 is 20,000. So instead of my tank taking 100k damage everyone is gonna take 20,000 damage and that's massive because you can um, mitigate that damage and heal afterwards with your Tsuru or Otohimi whatever you know but it's also a very good mitigation um, mitigation ability and whenever he dies he's gonna heal everyone by a huge amount as well so even if he dies he's gonna be useful uh, on the Emperor side, we don't have any mitigation right now besides a soul, uh, which is gonna grant shield to three allies, and it's gonna deal damage to the back row of the units, of course. Uh, and you'll also have some good debuffs on the on all of the enemies, so it's gonna put heal down or hit down, attack down or poison, and it's gonna last two rounds. And of course, it's gonna heal. All allies by 50%, 15% of max HP, and it's gonna increase uh, attack by 20%, which is not too shabby. It's also good, um, but the thing is, is the only uh, turtle, turtleish crew in the in the Emperor's side. So that's it for supports. That's it for supports. The, the, that's all the supports that you can use in a turtle comp. So make sure to use two of them at least with good mitigation abilities that pair together in order to give your team a hard shell, right? So you can protect the turtle. Don't forget, if the turtle gets penetrated, it's going to be the end of the turtle. So you want to keep everyone alive at least for long as you can, all right? Talking about the legs. So the legs of the turtle is going to what makes her the turtle move, of course. Uh, you guys are not dumb. <laughs> I'm just explaining, okay? But it's gonna be what makes the turtle move. Uh, and it's gonna be what? It's gonna be high DPS characters. Uh, it's gonna be disruptors with high damage. It's gonna be a combo of both, okay? Or high damage with, uh, some sort of self-sustain and a little bit of debuff on the other guys. But I will explain oh, with some debuffs in the mix. But I will explain. So let's let's talk about some options of um, of uh, turtle DPSs that you can use. So for example, Ace is gonna be a disruptor, but it, it can also be in the in the turtle comp because it's gonna decrease attack, it's gonna decrease speed from everyone, it's gonna apply sluggish. So sluggish is gonna be mitigation. Stuns are mitigation. When somebody is stunned, they, can they can't attack, so you're mitigating damage, alright? And of course, you're decreasing uh, enemy speed in order for you to go first in your skills. You can use Drake. I wouldn't say uh, you should, uh, to be fair, because... He doesn't have too much damage, and you want somebody with good damage. Ace can do very good damage uh, by himself. Uh, if you guys don't believe, try it. Or I'll be making a video on him sometimes, but if you haven't seen my mage tier list, please do. It's going to be on triple S, and I can explain a little bit more about Ace in there. So strats are not going to have any turtle dps at all that i can see well sanji sanji can work as a turtle dps because he's gonna have attack down in the first skill and he's, he's, he's gonna have discord in a column in the second skill but that's it i don't see any more dps that can that can be used see, frankie is not nah, don't uh, Ryuma. Ryuma can be used as a turtle DPS because he has silence in the first skill. Uh, he has high damage, really high damage, and he has self-sustain. So, like I said, self-sustain, 
high damage, and CC, it has it all. Alright? Uh, Sabo, you can use Sabo as well. He's gonna have some debuffs, which is gonna be ill ban, and he's gonna have Pierce in the um, in the last one, or he's gonna do more damage to the targets, of course. Um, Do Flamingo can be a good DPS as well because he has disruption. He's gonna uh, steal boss. He's gonna put Discord on their team, so he's gonna be also amazing, amazing, amazing DPS. One of the most amazing DPSs that Turtle can have is gonna be Blackbird because Blackbird, uh, your team will be very speedy, and Blackbird loves speed. Also, Blackbird pierces. Also, Blackbird puts control down on the enemies. What is control down? So, let me show you. So, it's gonna increase 15% uh, that your debuffs will be applied, right? So, if they have control up, uh, Blackbird is gonna decrease it for 15%. He also does a lot of damage, a lot, a lot of damage, and he's gonna do true damage by speed as well, and he has Pierce in the first one, as you can see. Um, it does a lot of damage, trust me. And he's a perfect, perfect DPS for Turtle. DPS-wise on Marine side, Z is the best one that you can find. He's going to uh, mitigate a lot of damage that you can get because he's going to steal attack from them. And in the fourth turn, uh, which you can reach, no problem, with Turtle Comp, you can reach the fourth turn really easily. Is gonna deal a massive amount of damage, okay? Uh, talking about more DPSs in here, it's gonna be just Kizaru because he, he puts attack down by 30%, actually, which is a huge amount on the single highest attack unit, okay? Oh, Sentomaru can work, but not the best because. It's gonna have long cooldowns. It's four turns on the first one and four turns on the second one. Okay, so yes, Z has high cooldowns. He also has four turns on his uh, active, but his passive is applied every single turn. So that's why you should uh, use Zephyr if you have him, of course. On the, um, the Emperor side, let me see any turtle-ish. So Mama, Mama is gonna have a lot of debuffs. Mama can. Um, can clean up with executes as well, and you're gonna have Rayleigh as well because Rayleigh will have some sort of CC, which is gonna be his sluggish. If you, if you have his skin, he's gonna do a lot, a lot of damage. Another one is gonna be Black Bird because a uh, White Bird, sorry, because he's gonna do a dimensional tier, which is gonna increase damage, physical damage that you inflict on the enemies, and he's gonna. Uh, execute people that are below 30% HP and is gonna heal everyone if they uh, if the enemies die of course but I wouldn't use black bird, uh, white bird uh, because it's gonna count as a third support and you're gonna already have two supports but if you have a really really strong DPS that you are comfortable with and you have a white bird that you want to include and put in it's gonna be amazing as well it's uh, you're gonna miss, I think you're gonna miss some sort of TPS, so that's why I shouldn't. I, I said that you shouldn't use him, but he can work in Turtle as well. Okay, so this is the, the all the options that you can have uh, on a team. Okay, uh, talking about uh, the crews itself for each job. Tank, support, and DPS. Okay, can be mages, can be fighters, can be anything. So ghosts. What should you use about ghosts? Go, you want to use Gale, it's going to be one of the best ones for you uh, because it's going to make sure you are going first and apply those those buffs on yourself and those debuffs on the enemies, okay? Um, and make sure you're not going to die before you do anything or that you, you take any action, okay? Second best ghost for uh, a turtle Tied up, there's gonna be two ghosts, it's gonna be Onigashima, and it's gonna be Purify. Very good ones, and strong contender is gonna be Pumpkin. So, this is all you should have. I don't think you need any heal, I don't need, you need anything like that. If you wanna use something that's gonna increase damage, you can use Harvest, of course, because it's gonna do a massive amount of damage, uh, if you have your Perona high enough, but I wouldn't use anything else, like... 
Ravage is useless. Shield is okay, but uh, I mean, it's gonna give shield to you, to your guys. It's gonna give crit resistance. I don't think you need. You can use it, of course, but I would use something like Pumpkin. I would use something like Purify. I would use something like Onigashima because you are getting mitigation already. This is just gonna increase your mitigation, okay? So, as you can see, it's gonna grant one Ghost Shield to three allies with the highest attack. Mid and back row first. It's gonna give defense 25% a lot. Crit resistance 50% a lot. And when taking physical attacks, it's going to increase, uh, it has a 27% chance to apply sluggish on the attacker for two rounds, okay? And it's going to last two rounds as well. Yes, it's good, but for example, pumpkin is going to be in my immediate value, okay? With shield goals, they are going to have to eat you. Right? They are gonna have to hit you before it does anything. And it has a 20%, 27% chance to do something. Pumpkin has a 35% chance to do something. Onigashima on uh, highest level has a 40% chance to do something. So, it's gonna be higher chances than shield. Of course, shield is gonna give the mitigation. But like I said, you are already gonna have the mitigation on your team. Your supports are gonna take care of that. Or your tank. Okay? So you don't need to use shield. You can, but you don't need. You should go with aggressive uh, ghosts instead of defensive ghosts. Because if anything, you will lack damage and not defenses. Alright? So we talked about the team. We talked about ghosts. We can talk about formation as well. Uh, I would say the best formation is either core shelter or uh war soul all three are very good it all depends on your dps as if you have a strong dps uh, and disruptor like mom you want to put her in front with kaido or kuma or something like that really tanky person uh but if you don't have strong dps's that are bruiser like so they are tanky but can do damage at the same time you want to have them all at the back line uh so it's gonna be either shelter with them being on a second row or it's gonna be or soul them being protected all in the back row okay uh but those are the three formations that you should use for turtle there are a lot of um, tricks that you can have so i would say three you can use ice age you can use black world and you can use rigo i don't think like people really think this one is is good for turtle i wouldn't say so because you don't miss any 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 healing or recovery at all like you're gonna have loads of it so you should have not any issue with that um i go for uh another another one is gonna give you shields is gonna give you defense of course shields when he's maxed out okay plus 24 uh, it's gonna give you defense, it's gonna give damage reduction, which is gonna be better than the healing itself, okay? Also, uh, on the black world, it's gonna give you dodge, it's gonna give you crit resistance, and it's gonna give you speed. Uh, it's almost as the ace one, because it gives crit resistance as well, but it doesn't give heal, it gives dodge. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a huge value. <laughs> and of course, Ice Age, if you think you're gonna miss some... DPS, and you want to increase the crit rate of your characters, and the crit damage, and of course, the sluggish, which is not gonna be um, low, it's gonna be a 32% chance, and it's gonna increase to randomize attack by up to 20% for two rounds, alright? So it's nothing to be shabby about. And this is it, this is it. If you have any questions, uh, check the Discord in the link below, come in, join our Discord, we would be uh, most likely uh, every, anyone available to help you out if you have any questions or doubts that you want to ask us. If I'm there, uh, you can put questions in the questions department or if you want to help building a team, you can put it on Team Builder. It's, we, are, we are always active in my Discord. Uh, it's the Discord from the community that, that we created. So you're more than welcome to join. All right? Um... The next one will be coming within weekend or next week. So the next um, talk meta video, okay, in this series. And it's already been voted. 
So if you have the Discord, you can have access to the polls as well, and you can see which one is the next. Anyways, thank you a lot for watching. Thank you a lot for the support you guys have. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We are giving away three account reviews at 500 subs. Don't forget about that. I hope you have a great day. This is going to be the GOAT. Out! See ya!